Inflammation is a significant and integral part of the wound healing cascade, and we're going to explore that. We're going to drill into that term, inflammation, and you need to have a basis for understanding inflammation in the wound healing process. And these cytokines are typically the pro-inflammatory cytokines such as TNF-alpha and IL-1, and they have a knock-on effect where they produce the inflammatory proteases. Let's begin by asking, is there a common molecular pathology of chronic wounds? So these four examples of the major categories of chronic wounds all have different underlying comorbidities. Once collagen is actually in the wound, it degrades into its peptides and amino acids. And these degradation fragments of collagen are really important for the wound healing process. Obviously, the inflammatory cytokines that are released by uh, both wound cells as well as neutrophils macrophages tend to increase the tight junctions in capillary endothelial cells. You see the size of the wound the appearance in, in March and there it is again in April and we're starting to see some of those changes in the peri wound that we've discussed, that redness and inflammatory appearance. 